everybody. It is Friday, yes, Friday, March 26th, and here are your national days. It's good hair day. Now, frankly, I'm having a great hair day. I don't care what anybody says. Hopefully, you're going to have a good hair day today, too. And maybe today's a day you take that little extra bit of time like I did this morning, and you really do make your hair look great today. So you know it's not just good hair day. Let's make it great hair day. All right, so uh, good hair day, uh, and maybe you can look as good as I do today. Uh, it's Purple Day, so this would be the day when um, they're going to raise awareness about epilepsy, which is a uh, neurological condition that can cause seizures as well as other difficulties within um, how you handle yourself within certain so social uh, situations. All right, and this, uh, the whole idea of this is to, to bring awareness to the, the issue and also to see if we can raise funds um, to, to try to uh, help with the research, uh, but also support for, for not only the individuals with the condition, but also their families. Uh, and then um, just kind of show that, that no one is trying to fight this alone. All right, so um, Purple Day in honor of epil epil epilepsy awareness. Yikes, epilepsy awareness, there we go. All right, so uh, let's see, it's make your own holiday day. So maybe today is gonna not just be that, maybe today is the day you're going to um, have a holiday for left socks that have a hole in it day, you know? So kind of like the, the one that we had earlier uh, in, the, in the month, the, um, the cats and dogs, what if cats and dogs had opposable thumbs day? You know, kind of like something like that. Uh, so whatever it is, make up your own day. Uh, and if you think you got a good one, let me know what it is. So share it with me, and then maybe, uh, maybe we, we make it an unofficial official uh, day for uh, the upcoming year, all right? So see what, you, see what you come up with and send me some ideas, and uh, we'll see how we can uh, have some fun moving forward, all right? So uh, make your own holiday day. It is spinach day. Uh, so this is a day when you go and have things with spinach, whether cooked or raw, definitely a vegetable that is uh, pretty versatile. You can have it a couple different ways, so spinach day. And last but not least, it's nougat day, and this is uh, a mixture of honey, sugar, and nuts. Uh, sometimes there's other things also inside of it, but um, think about this for a second. Think, uh, take, uh, for instance, a Three Musketeers bar. That's nougat. All right, and then you can also add, you don't have to have nuts in there, but you, then you can add nuts to it. Think Baby Ruth. All right, so there's your, your combination of your nougat along with other things. All right, so uh, nougat day. All right, so those are all of our days. Let's take a look and see what our fact of the day is. The word aquarium means watering place for cattle in Latin. All right, now I, there's no way I knew that. Um, so somebody else did that research because I am not in the Latin idea at all. Uh, so let's see, in classic Latin language, aquarium means a watering place for cattle. However, aquarium these days aren't for cows. Instead, they're a place for the public to see sea creatures. That makes sense. Uh, the first aquarium that looks like what you'd imagine wa now was created in 1921 and opened in 1924 in England. Uh, and uh, hey, if you wanna, you wanna get out there, Maybe today's the day you go and take a, take a trip to an aquarium. All right, so there you go, everybody. Aquarium is in Latin means watering place for cattle. Uh, interesting thought, but uh, if we put the cattle in the water, we're going to have some problems. So just keep that in mind, and let's put the fish in there instead. Hey, go check it out, everybody. All right, so uh, have yourself a great day. Uh, go fix that hair up, and uh, we'll see you right back here tomorrow. Have a good one, everybody.